Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I thought today I would do a little bit of an unboxing for you of some things that I've bought this week. But firstly, let's do a quick outfit of the day. I've just been at work today and um, yeah, so I've just got a Ted Baker top on, bomb on blazer, I've got some, hang on, black Ted Baker, just plain trousers on and Chanel slingbacks. So yeah, I'm actually chanel up as well, so Chanel earrings, Ooh. and lip gloss and mascara is also Chanel, so having a bit of a Chanel day. Um, also, I teamed that with my lovely Chanel GST. Anyway, I'm going to be quick because the battery is like probably about to go and anyway. So, oh, nearly dropped it. First item is light, thank God, and not fragile, just as well with me. I have scissors, so let's be quick. So the lighting is dreadful because it is 10 to 9, but basically I ordered some stuff and I really want to see it, but I also wanted to share it with you guys. So we're, we're doing this and I tried putting the light on and the lighting was, was shocking. They're very, very bright, the lights we've got in here. So, slicing the box. This is the least exciting out of what I've got. So I, I ordered, more packaging, hang on. I ordered myself a new phone case. So I am currently rocking a Louis Vuitton Epi leather case and it is in, where is it, there it is, it is in the colour fuchsia, actually it's a bit brighter on camera than it really is and it's really nice, you can see there the inside, so yeah it's really nice and the phone just sort of sticks to it. Oh. Puppy, a little terror. Um, but again, when walking him, he jogged my hand and I dropped the whole thing. Anyway, so I want to make it a little bit more secure. And also, with summer coming, I want to make summary. So, I ordered myself an apple case, and this is the leather folio, and this is in the limited edition colour of pink sand, I believe. Oh, soft pink, sorry, soft pink. So, how does it open? No idea. Well, it's going well, isn't it? Battery's about to die. Can't open the damn thing. Do I just pull? Do I just pull? Ah, there we go. Pull. So also, I recently got a Louis Vuitton Graceful MM with the rose ballerine inside. And I just wanted something soft and pink. So, here it is. open it up and it's a basically like my Louis Vuitton one it's got um card section there and behind not sure yeah, oh that's just a bit of plastic packaging there and uh instruction manual telling you where to put the card so thank you um kind of figured that one out okay. take it off and then you've got this nice microfiber lining oh in a soft Okay, so battery died. I've given it a very quick bump. We'll see how long that lasts, but um, the light is fading. I don't yet have an O-ring, and these lights are really horrific, but we may have to go to those. Um, I will get to an O-ring, I think, when I get to 500 subscribers, so come on, people, get me an O-ring. Um, so yeah, so in summary, really lovely color, really nice leather. I love the folio design. It also has a magnetic sleep wake function which I can't wait to use um, but before I use this I am going to spray this with the Colonel Carbon Pro because I know my husband's got the taupe colour and I know this leather particularly on the back is very susceptible to colour transfer so that's that right quickly on to the big box which is exciting 
Yeah. So the the Had sale um, started to rewards card members on Friday, and I had I've had my eye on a few pairs of Tods, I have to say, um, because my other like low free type casual shoes, which I bought years ago from Jones's, are basically dying a death. The sole is worn out, the insides are coming apart. Didn't help when the dog chewed them. Um, but to be honest, they were kind of pretty much dead before that point. So, I got a little carried away and ordered three pairs. But we'll see. I also wasn't sure about sizing. So it might be the whole lot's going back. But I'm a Harris on Saturday for an afternoon tea with my mum, which I can't wait for. So if need be, I'm going to take them back then. So, open the big box. As always with Harris, they always package their stuff lovely. I remember I bought some towels once. You wouldn't believe in that the bubble wrap they put on towels. Anyway. Oh, we'll cut this. Try to be quick. Yet more packaging. Loads of air paper, so that's good for my handbag storage. We'll just chuck that over there. Right. First box. Oh, with more bubble wrap. Oh, this isn't good for my battery. I've never bought Todd's before. So, which ones are these? Ah, so these are, I got these in a size 38. These are gold leather sliders in, well, I'll put a link to them below. So there's the box. Oh, sorry, upside down. There's the box. So I've never bought Todd's before. So get a nice little, Dust bag. And here they are. I've been after some sliders and I just thought that these might be like stylish but also really comfortable. I'm after comfort. Do you know when you're in your forties, don't you? Look. So here they are. So these are in the gold. And they've got some cushioning there. Small heel, but you can see they've got these rubberized bits everywhere and like I say all oh, this bit is cushioned so I really like them I think the colour is stunning um, I'll do some ooh, focus I will do some mod shots and insert that here and finally these are the sliders really pleased to say they're the right size I wasn't sure and um, Bessie Lorna had said that basically Todd's come up big so to buy a size smaller. I didn't know what to do, never had Todd's sliders. So I went for 38, which is my usual size. They didn't do these in half sizes, so really pleased that I did. So yeah, excuse the uh, lack of nail polish. I gave us a bit of a pedicure at the weekend and haven't got as far as polish. So yeah, really love these and these are a keeper. Hope you like them too. Right, so on to the next pair. <laughs> No idea what this is going to be. Just trying to do it. I'm feel stressed. Trying to do this quickly before the battery goes. It's very stressful. Right. Too much bubble wrap. Thanks, Harrod. Really, too much bubble wrap. go so these I got in a size 37 and a half and these are taupe suede loafers so these there you go these are probably the the key drivers of what I wanted I really hope I can show you the color before the light goes so. more air paper <laughs> and again if I like them I will carbon print them so there's the sole and there's the size. These are plain. They haven't got anything around the side. I'll put a link in the description box below of everything because I can't remember the name. I know they were driving shoes. See, what they say on here isn't what they said on the website. This is a Moccasino. But I'm sure they were called a Garamond. I don't know. Anyway, so those are they. 
I will try those on in a second and insert the wood shot now. So here's the next pair. These are the suede ones and instantly feel different. Really soft and comfortable. And as you can see, less of a gap. Still a bit of a gap, but I have really narrow feet there. So these are a keeper. I really, just to show you, these are my old Jones, knackered Jones ones that they are replacing. So they've been amazing these, but I've just worn them to death. And they faded. If you can see what colour they were. Yeah, look. On the final pair, and the battery's blinking at me again. Jesus, how much bubble wrap? It's gonna go, I know it's gonna go. Come on, bubble wrap. I had to take my blazer off and get so hot and bothered trying to rush. Right. They gave me something to do whilst it's charging. Right, here are the final pair, and these are a Goma Raff. So these are basically a grey lizard print loafer. So I went for suede and then for leather as well. More air paper, more air paper, more air paper. Finally, a shoe. So here it is, and you can see there the lizard effect print. And these are more like the classic ones with the bow. So I will try those on. Again, I got these in the 37 and a half. See the rear there with the classic Todd styling. And you can see that on the sliders as well, that classic styling that they put on the studs on the top. I'll give this a quick charge. I'll do some more shots, which are probably going to be the light on now because it's going to be really, really dark um, in that corner. But yeah, here they are. So I really like the look of the shoes. I just hope they fit. So thanks. So here's the first pair, the grey ones, and whilst they go really well with my floor, these are going to go back. So they're okay, but they're very squeaky. I think, if I show you on this side, they're very gappy here, and they feel quite stiff. I know they'll wear, but given, bearing in mind I bought this for comfort, I'm thinking a no. So that's those. Hi everyone, so I hope you found that useful, I hope the mod shots were useful and um, any questions at all then please feel free to ask and thank you to all of those for watching. I'll see you soon, bye.